Hey guys, Doc Oliver on a horse here, and we are back with the next episode of Ask and Dare the Godzilla Family. And whoa, Dad, did you get a new look? Yeah, I say, go. Did you get a new look? Mm hmm. Now I finally look movie accurate. I really do look movie accurate. Unlike my previous two designs. Well, unlike my yeah. Oh, great. Almost everyone here has a frickin' epic monster art form. So, no, we, no, we don't. Hey, do four of you have... Well, actually, five of you. Five of you have an SH monster art look, and you guys almost look movie accurate. The only ones you don't are me, Shin Godzilla, Gorgira, and Snow Godzilla. Oh, relax, Dilla Jr. Who knows, maybe one of these days you'll get an SH Monster Arts form. We already know that Gorgir and Shin Gods already have an SH Monster Arts form, but Snow Gods, we don't know about him. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, so. Okay, so this one is actually from Canada South 3, but our YouTuber leave it, leave the question itself, so, yeah. Um, we're just going to read it. Okay, so I know... So I actually have a interesting question. So my sister watched your clips back on your old YouTube channel, and she really loved, loved the series. And she wanted to ask this question for a while, but never got the chance, because she was always too busy. And so I am going to ask the question for her. So the question is, it's a question she asked. So is when is the Godzilla Family Series officially going to be released? The series will not be released until we get Megalon, uh, Gals, Iris, um, let's see, who else? Behemoth. Basically, we need a few more villains and heroes to begin the series officially. So, yeah. Um, once when our YouTuber gets those figures, he will officially begin the Godzilla Family Remake series. And hopefully... Hopefully, it will turn out well. Last question. If I ever get the chance to make videos, what series would you like to see? Probably your own Godzilla series. I want to see what the series will, like what the story will be about, and who Godzilla's love interest will be, and who the main villain will be. Uh, that's not a question, so we're just going to ignore that. Hey, hey, it's Godzilla. No, oh, I dare his take out to tell Space Godzilla that he is his father. Man, it's been a while since we were on to that. Hey, Space Godzilla. Whoa, hey, Space Godzilla, did you get a new look? Yes. But you shouldn't really call me that anymore. Why? I am your father. No! No. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be it to be true. No! Okay, so hold on. Can we, can we address something real quick before we continue? Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of questions from the other two parts. We got a problem with that. Why is that a problem? Because there's not a lot of questions for the final part. So should we like ask the audience to leave questions for the final part? Well, I'm pretty sure they will once when they see this episode, so, yeah. Question to the good, to, for both good and evil kaiju. Sorry, you guys can see it for a second. Uh, how did you guys got the idea of, for the name Earth Defenders and Earth Invaders? 
That's actually a good question. Um, ever since our YouTuber uh, watched a lot of gameplays of Godzilla Save the Earth and Godzilla Unleash, he saw the name for the good kaiju called the Earth Defenders and the evil kaiju known as the Earth Invaders. So he thought it would be a cool little reference to have both our teams being named Earth Defenders and Earth Invaders. So, yeah. I dare Rodan and Ankyrus to use the spiky bomb on someone. Okay. This is more like asking dare the kaiju. Uh, King Caesar King, please get off of Angiris. Oh, yeah. Alright, so who do you want to use the spiky bomb on? Gigan. Of course you want to use it on Gigan. Spiky! Spiky bomb! I got a double kill, because I got the Omoto as well. Okay. He has a point. This series is becoming more like Aston Dare the Kaiju. The series is all going to be titled Aston Dare the Godzilla Family. Hey, bag in. Uh, hold on. Here we go. What was it like to appear in Super Godzilla as the final boss? Um, it felt really good. I was hoping that I would make a sort of little appearance in the middle of the game, but no, I actually appeared at the end of the game. So, yeah, I hope I get involved with a Godzilla project or something. Yeah. Uh, I dare Shane Godzilla to say hello to King Ghidorah and then fire his back beams at him. Hello. Uh, hi. Mm -hmm. Wait, why are your bad beams going like that? He's probably going to be gone for a while. Hey, Baggins, did you know that you were originally going to have different forms? Yes, I was fully aware I was going to have different forms. I was originally going to have many forms. And I believe in a Godzilla movie or in a Mothra movie. I don't remember. But Toho unfortunately lost the idea. Therefore, I was replaced by that thing right there. And they somehow allowed him to have multiple forms. But me? They couldn't allow me to have more forms? What the hell, Toho? What the hell? That is a good point. Why couldn't they allow... Why do they allow destroyers to have multiple forms? But Bagian, why couldn't they allow him to have multiple forms in a movie? I don't know. Well, you're back. Okay, so here is a so here's a question. Hey guys, did you know that in Godzilla vs. Destroyer, in the final battle, there was a deleted scene where Destroyer was still alive? And he flew and tried to escape. Well, he fly and tried to escape, but Burning Godzilla got him and beat him up. And with the G Force, they killed Destroya. I don't think we've ever heard about an ending like that. What do you guys think about the broken figures involved? In, or whatever. In by uh, Indominus Rex twenty twenty. That was pretty it was pretty pretty funny. <laughs> Freaking funny. I dare Godzilla Final Wars to say this is Sparta and push the base Godzilla off a cliff. Uh, Final Wars, Final Wars, wait, 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 we could, 
we could uh, talk about this, right? I mean, we're brothers after all, within a way. Uh, no. This is spot up. Sorry, Starfly. I dare King Kador to eat three ghost peppers. Uh, <laughs> got my story. Lord King Kador? Question for the Godzilla family. What is the one thing you love to love about your girlfriend slash wives? I think we'll all go one at a time. Everyone except for freaking Snow Godzilla has a wife and a girlfriend. Well, everyone except for everyone in the family has a girlfriend and a or wife. Everyone except for him. I think. I don't know. We we change her a lot. I think uh, Firewall should go first since he was the first one we met. Uh, Kite Girl Rebirth Goji. Okay. Well, the one thing I like about Rebirth Goji is that she's really strong, brave, but smart and funny and very kind. That's what I really like about her. And she's a really good mother figure to Ultima here. Yeah, she's a really good mom figure. Heisei Go Kaichi Girl Heisei Goji is the best thing that I could ever ask for. Um, she's really, really be beautiful. And she is... And what I like about her, or love about her, is that she's more willing to help me out in any way possible. Um, what I love about Kaiju Girl Godzilla Earth is whenever I had a bad day, she was always there for me and helped me cheer and helped me to be happy and cheered me up. You know, that's what I love about her. Kaiju Girl Shin Godzilla is the she makes really really good purple tacos. Of course you love purple tacos. Shut up, Zilla Jr. Whatever. Anyways. She makes the best purple tacos. When I mean the best, I mean they are the best. And that's what I love about her. Kaiju Girl Zilla is literally... Like... She... What I love about her is that she... Always finds a way to help me feel better because there were times where I got a headache or where I was not feeling well. She always found a way to make me feel better, so that's what I love about her. What I love about Kaiju Girl Godzilla 1954 is that I would sometimes get a very, very, sometimes my back would get very stiff and I can't pop it right, and she was always there for me to pop my back. So, you know, that because you're 68 years old. Oh, shut up, Zilla Jr. It's not that easy being old. Well, compared to you youngsters, there's, I'm literally almost your... Well, actually, yeah, you're right. I'm not that close. But so you're not even that close to being my age, Zilla Jr. Um, what I love about Kaiju Girl God's Ultima is that she is always... She basically understands why I do not like humans that much. Because she understands why and... And she always made me feel better when I was thinking about my mom. Um, Gorgiren, so, yeah. 